This is a tracing pad I bought from Amazon for twenty pounds, and I made this animation paper hole puncher myself. And I made this peg bar is simply stuck onto the tracing pad with masking tape. Then I batch scan the drawings. This printer cost me around sixty pounds. After all the drawings are inputted as a sequence, the holes are tracked and stabilized, and then I just composite everything together. You can actually order an Acme style pep bar from Amazon for eight pounds. And to work with it, you can use the punched animation paper. But punched animation paper is usually quite expensive, and it only comes in white. So what you can do instead is buying a hole puncher, so that you can use regular paper instead of buying those punched animation paper. But the thing about hole puncher is that it's insanely expensive. Usually it's three hundred pounds or even more. So I decided to make my own. But most of the office hole punchers punch round holes instead of those rectangular hole you found on animation paper. So I decided to make an animation hole puncher with regular office hole punchers to work with a round peg bar. And you can actually buy a round peg bar online. I found it on some American animation art supply store that is five dollars, but the shipping is eighty dollars. So I decided to make my own pick bar as well. So my original plan is to buy three single hole punchers and stick them onto a steel ruler, and have three dowels on a wooden ruler as the pack bar. But then I bought two hole punchers instead of single hole punchers because of the capacity. Most of the single hole punchers I found has the capacity of twenty or less, but the double one has forty or more, which I think is really handy because you don't really want to spend all your time punching holes in paper. Although I'm using two, two, two hole punchers, and that's gonna leave four holes on the paper, I'm still gonna just use three of the holes and have three dowels on the wooden ruler as the peg bar. I'm gonna align one of the hole in the center of the paper. And one at the end. The third and the fourth hole totally depends on the size of the double hole puncher. And I kind of expected that the hole's not gonna be evenly distributed on the paper. That this hole's gonna have a larger margin comparing to that hole at the other end. But the margin can be helpful when you're flipping the paper to see the animation. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, so that's my plan. First, I put a mark where the center of a piece of paper is, and try to align one of the holes of a hole puncher to the mark. Meanwhile, aligning the left edge of the paper to the left end of the steel ruler. Then place the other hole puncher on the steel ruler as well to do a test. See if the holes are at where you want them to be, and keep sliding and testing the hole punchers on the steel ruler according to that. Until you find their ideal positions, mark them down on the steel ruler with masking tape. Hot glue the hole punchers onto the steel ruler one by one, with the help of another ruler to make sure they are parallel to each other. Then I did a test on paper again with this setup. Use this final result to find and mark where the pegs are supposed to go on the wooden ruler. Align the center hole of the test result to the center of the ruler. Saw two dowels in half so that they are one and a half centimeters long. 
Now, find the right drill bits that match the size of the dowels. It has to be just right to let the dowels get stuck in the roller. I went for the one that's slightly smaller at first and allow myself for adjustments later. Since I didn't have any sandpaper, I rubbed off the little spikes on the bottom of the ruler with the drill too. Seal the bottom of the hose with masking tape and fill them with wood glue. Put some glue on the dowels as well and push them into the ruler. Then I looked at the dowels from all possible perspectives I could think of to push them until they are all perpendicular to the ruler. Wipe away the excessive glue. This part is quite important because you want both the ruler and the dowels in their defined shapes. Voila! Now the glue is dried off and it looks pretty solid. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you find it helpful and I hope to see more animation around. Thank you.